Let's check in with CP the franchise. CP, the big news of the week was Julius Randle officially being ruled out for the rest of the season. Uh, without Randle, what do you think is the ceiling of this team? Michelle, aftershocks was the theme of this week with New York is dealing with, with an earthquake and New York Knicks fans dealing with the loss of Julius Randle. And with that being said, you cannot replace a 20 and 10 all NBA player. And so I think the Knicks ceiling will be a second round team. They still have enough to get through the first round. I believe the Knicks key elements are their defensive physicality, their ability to rebound, and then still having star power in Jalen Brunson. When you look at potential matchups, the Knicks can beat the Orlando Magic, the Indiana Pacers, and even the Cleveland even Cavaliers if they play to their strengths but however they will be missing a consistent all-star score in Julius Randle and so that's why I believe the second round is where they will likely exit well the next season also goes as Jalen Brunson goes but he has taken on a huge burden with all the injuries all season so are there any concerns that he might be burnt out by the time the playoffs come 36 points and nine assists in his last five games. Jalen Brunson has been great for the New York Knicks. I think he will be there for this team when they need him the most. He is their guy. He is their workhorse. And it's so interesting in that the debate all season long was that could he be the 1A superstar to carry this team? Well, we're going to find out right now because he's going to get the best shot of every defense that he faces in this playoffs. We saw in their game against Sacramento the amount of double teams and traps that he faced. And so for Jalen Brunson, it's going to be twofold, making his team better in terms of executing out of those out of the pressure defense and then also being able to score when his team needs him the most yeah he already has done so much already too uh, Isaiah Hardenstein has been one of the most important Knicks this season but Mitchell Robinson is under contract for a few more years so how would you handle the center position moving forward this year and in the future Isaiah Hartenstein has been incredible since coming to the Knicks last year. He gave Tom Thibodeau a lot of credit for helping him improve defensively, an area that Hartenstein really needed to work on, and that's made him a well-rounded player. Offensively, he just adds a different element to this Knicks offense that is sorely needed in terms of his playmaking and his passing IQ. And so I believe going forward, the Knicks need to do everything in their power to keep Isaiah Hartenstein. And unfortunately, the longest tenured Nick, Nick Mitchell Robinson, may be on another team come the offseason as the Knicks continue to look to build a contender.